Okay. People say, Harley, I can't eat bananas because bananas aren't local. And, you know, like, I know I make a lot of chocolate recipes and eat a lot of chocolate. And it's from Ecuador. And bananas are from Ecuador. But, um, you know, I can't eat bananas because <laughs> they're from Ecuador. <laughs> but all my chocolate's from Ecuador. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. People say, oh, but, you know, like, isn't it better to eat, like, animal products because it's local and fruit, tropical fruits from around the world? And so, I don't know. What do you think, Pepper? Hmm? You think I should eat you because you're local? Or do you reckon I should eat bananas because they're local? Hey! <laughs> I don't know. I think <laughs> you dropped a bit, Pepper. I'll let you go pick it up. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> no? You want to drop it on the ground? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I should eat Pepper. I'll, I'll let you go down and pick it up. <laughs> All right. Here you go. What should we do? Should we start eating animals because it's local? Should I eat pepper because uh, <laughs> pepper's local? Pepper's like those bananas. These dogs are great. Eat so much fruit. Um, what you gonna do? You know, you're gonna compromise your emotional integrity. You're gonna compromise your your friendship with animals because it's local. Or you're gonna go, hang on. What, what's what's the best thing for the planet? Supporting fruit economies, fruit organic fruit orchards in third world countries like Ecuador, etc., Malaysia, Thailand, you know, Peru, things like that, or cutting down more forests in Australia or North America or Canada or Europe, you know, to grow grass fed animals because it's local. What's better for your health? What's the same diet that prevents stroke? Cancer, heart disease, osteoporosis, depression, obesity, anorexia. What's the same diet? It's low-fat vegan diet, low-fat raw vegan diet. It's the same. You know, so local's great, but don't compromise your health just to catch on the local gig because, uh, you know, you, you can eat a Big Mac that's local. <laughs> Plenty of Big Macs are local. You know, the, the wheat's grown in Ohio. The, the cows are from Ohio. The bacon's from Ohio. Tomatoes are grown in Ohio. It's um, <laughs> Ohio, someone just said to me. <laughs> you know, excuse your Aussie accent. So, you know, Big Macs can be local, but what's better for the world, man? Eating a local Big Mac or getting a banana shipping from Ecuador along with your cacao. So, what's best for your health? That's what you can ask yourself. You know, people say, oh, I can't drink water because... It's been through and it's been through pipes and maybe there's a bit of fluoride in there and maybe the filter didn't get let out and can't drink water. I've got to have purity and I've got to have spring water and I can't be raw unless I have raw water. <laughs> so throw it out of the window. Sure, it's great to have the best quality product you can in the moment. Cool, but don't skip drinking water because your water's not 100% raw or you know 100% pure. Because I'll tell you right now, there's no pure water on the planet. Even the Antarctic and Arctic ice caps, the uh, water's got DDT in it. The ice has got DDT in it. People say, oh, I can't be a vegan um, because everything gets killed when you go farming fruit and vegetables. You know, you kill grasshoppers and mouses and stuff, and kangaroo gets hit by the car driving bananas, the truck driving bananas. It happens, man. This, you know, I probably stepped on an ant today when I run. I did a 10K road race this morning running, set a personal best of um, probably stepped on a few ants in that time representing go vegan increase the peace, you know, it's like so does that mean I should go out and eat a steak? You know, unintentionally uh, step on some animals? No. Does that mean we should do the best we can at the moment? Yes. Does that mean we should compromise our integrity and compromise you know, our morals and ethics and things like that? No. I think we have a moral obligation to, to be vegans, to be raw vegans, you know, because chopping down forests don't work, you know, stuffing ourselves full of dead animals don't work, <laughs> we've been doing that, <laughs> Easter Island did it, they had grass fed animals, they, Google it up, Easter Island, they ate themselves to extinction, they, they cut down the trees, cut down the fruit trees to have more animals, and, you know, because you need a lot more land to feed grass fed animals than you do feedlot. Both are just pointless.
why murder animals to eat ourselves and at the same time we murder ourselves by osteoporosis and cancer and heart disease and we murder the environment you know I mean look at Sally Fallon the lovely lady great person fat look at all these people you know Arjunas Thunderpants great person lovely person sick <laughs> it's like sure I make fun of a lot of people but I'm just so many people don't have anyone around them to lovingly speak the truth to them and I'm going to tell you how it is I don't really care about what people think of me what I care is that people get the message so they can help themselves help other people help the planet help the animals that's all I care about that's why I rant and rave and say you know controversial stuff because it gets people listening you know it gets people thinking going hmm interesting well, maybe there's some truth in that maybe if I eat dead animals we become what we eat and maybe if I drink milk from another species other than my mother Maybe maybe that's maybe that's not right, and maybe I should visit notmilk.com and learn the facts about dairy consumption, raw or cooked. Raw is a lot better, but raw dairy still has a problem of dairy, bovine lungworms. Bovine lungworms—that's a big issue in raw dairy. I mean, ask the farmer, you know, what are you doing to prevent bovine lungworm getting into my milk? Got all these leukemia viruses, rotaviruses, E. coli, listeria, salmonella, campylobacteria, all those things in your milk and you got blood, pus, hormones and dirt. People say, no Harley, uh, my, sorry mate, sorry there buddy, my dairy is grass fed, biodynamic, it doesn't have any hormones in it. Tell you what, every single dairy has hormones in it. The main hormone in dairy is IGF-1, it stands for insulin growth factor 1. It's not added by Monsanto, it's naturally occurring to get that little baby calf, baby cow into a big heifer, a big bull. So when we consume that raw, grass-fed, biodynamic dairy and thinking, oh, it's good health, you know, which we do, ignorantly, we are consuming powerful growth hormones and Google up insulin growth factor one and cancer growth, tumor growth, you know. A lot of oncologists say that insulin growth factor one is like pouring, for a tumor, it's like pouring gasoline on a fire. Pouring IGF-1 onto a tumor is like pouring gasoline onto a fire so I'm going to continue to be out there and raising people up and giving people a bit of a hard time but I've got love for everyone I'm always here to help anyone anytime anywhere any situation and people know that people have helped me to that uh, promise and they've been rewarded I like to walk my talk and talk my walk and I'm going to keep saying you know whatever I want to say and I'm going to mean what I say and those that matter do not mind and those that mind do not matter Okay, I'm going to go take the doggies for a jog, recovery jog, and uh, feed them some more bananas, and myself some more bananas. Peace. These dogs love the bananas. Come on, yes, you get in there. 30 bananas a day, buddy. <laughs> Get down there. Oh. You want some too? These dogs are just going crazy in the bananas. We've run out, we have to get more. More bananas, please.